Virgo and welcome to your March 2022 tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me once again. We are just about to hit 100,000 subs, so make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me since day one. Okay, uh, let's dive right in. Let's start by picking the energy that is supporting you right now for March. 2022. Okay, so we have the High Priestess as general energy. So your intuition could be guiding you towards something. This is Pisces energy. Tomorrow is the new moon in Pisces. So there could be something that you're manifesting, something that you are trying to make happen okay with the power of your thought whatever it is your mind is much more powerful than you know we have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck so there's a new beginning when it comes to something that makes you feel good something that brings you joy i don't know exactly what it is but uh this week could be a powerful week for you um, be aware of your dreams also. I don't know if you've been having some crazy dreams. The candle is going crazy as I'm saying that. There's something magical surrounding you right now. I think that you're giving yourself the chance to believe in the magic. Um, of course, you're a Virgo. You are practical. You are rational. But believing and working on your intuition doesn't make you some kind of woo-woo person. Um, I think that it's just adding to your greatness and adding to your power. So let's see what the tarot has to say. What is happening for Virgo in March? What is happening for Virgo? Okay, so Five of Cups in the Death card. So... You've been grieving something. You've been moving through uh, an uncomfortable time. You could have been, you know, grieving a physical loss, an emotional loss. Uh, maybe you quit your job. Maybe you um, lost someone that was precious to you. Um, there was something that needed to end. And I feel like you could still be grieving this situation. Again, I don't know if it's if it's a physical loss. If it is, I just want to say I'm sorry and I'm sending all my love for you. But with the Five of Cups, we are learning to give space to grieve in our life. Um, looking at the things that sometimes we don't want to look at. It's not uh, comfortable to do that. It takes a lot of courage. And we are in Pisces season right now. We are um, ending the zodiacal year. So there's a lot of releasing. There's a lot of things that we're letting go of. There could be something that you thought you wanted so much. And as the months went by last year, you realized that it might not be exactly what you need or what you truly wanted. There's a huge change in perspective. You've been transforming and you've been focusing on the things that you have instead of worrying about the things that you don't have, the things that you can't get back. So there's a lot of maturing that's happening. There's a lot of internal change and energy and change is not something that people around can necessarily see. I think you've been keeping a lot for yourself. Um, I think that there was a, a moment recently where you were putting a smile on your face, uh, but inside you weren't doing that great. Um, you're dealing with that right now. You're releasing a lot of things and the things that you've been pushing aside are going to be coming up. And it, it might be time to face them, even if you don't want it. Uh, there's going to be some type of calling that is bigger than you. Two of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. So the Two of Pentacles is a lot about remembering that you only have two hands. Uh, I think that you've been doing a lot. You've been keeping yourself busy, maybe with work, with some type of hobby. 
maybe taking care of your loved ones. There is something that you don't want to look at when it comes to, again, a, grieve, a grieving situation or something that feels painful. It could be something from your past and you've been pushing it aside and pushing it aside, focusing on work, focusing on being practical, making your money and being the best version of yourself. But when it's coming out, there's no way you can push it, um, push it away anymore. So there's something important that you need to look at. And that's why in the beginning I, I was like, have you been noticing your dreams? You could be seeing or hearing some type of important message in your dreams. Be aware of that. So when you wake up in the morning, something that you could uh, do in the next month would be not taking uh, your cell phone right away when you get up. I, I know a lot of people do that, just getting on their cell phone right away. Uh, take a pen and paper and try to write what your dream was or talk to the person beside you if there's someone and talk about your dreams. I think that there could be something really important there. And again, maybe you feel like it's it's stupid, uh, there's nothing there, it's just a dream, it's just like uh, emotional garbage that comes out, you know? But there's something that you should be looking at, definitely. With the Knight of Wands, um, there could be something changing in the way that you move your body. Maybe you feel like you need to get out there, get a little bit physical. It's not about being obsessed, it's not about going in extremes. But there is something about you moving. How are you moving more? Um, if you work from home, you could be sitting at your computer all day um, feeling like it's time for you to, you know, go outside and get some fresh air. High Priestess is really connected to nature. Any Pisces card is, is really connected with nature. So... I think that there's something there. Have you been listening to your body? Have you been listening to what your soul and what your mind is telling you? Um, I don't know if you've been ignoring the signs, but there is something again that is coming up. And I think that it's going to switch really fast. You're going to wake up one morning and you're going to feel like this is it. I want to change. I want to drastically change a lot of things I've been doing. I want to take care of my mind, my body, my soul. I want to feel better. Um, important to not go in extremes here. Again, we have to learn how to balance everything. We only have two hands. We There's only 24 hours in a day. And it's important that you make sure that you don't... Um, push yourself too much when it comes to changing some type of habit that you have how can you focus on balance and not be so black or white all the time um you're doing a lot you're doing a lot definitely and i think that you're keeping your mind busy i don't know why but i think there's something you don't want to look at something that you're keeping secret um it might be time to open up and share. You could start again, like writing down your dreams or sharing um, something intimate with someone that you trust. But if you've been keeping something secret, something to yourself that might feel like a burden, it's time that you share. This, this feels like a serious reading. I think that you're going through you're going through some type of transformation. Yeah, we have the moon in the reverse. You've been ignoring some type of sign. I think that the universe is trying to send you something, a sign, I don't know, a wake-up call. You don't necessarily want to look at it. And again, you might feel like this makes no sense. Like, this is impossible. This is it's just, you know, life is not magical. And uh, it, I, again, I think there could be an inner battle between 
your rational side and your intuitive side. And I think it's it's because you are definitely starting to notice that you're incredibly powerful. And we don't give enough credit to Virgos and how intuitive you are. I said it before, um, Virgos are the healers of the tarot. And I don't know if you've ever noticed that you have healing powers. And it's not about something so esoteric and uh, weird, you know, with your words, with uh, your art, with your knowledge, uh, anything that you do with your hands, you have healing powers. This is, uh, this is why you are here on this planet. So I think that you're going to be, I don't want to say scared, but shook by some of the signs the universe is sending your way. There is some type of wake-up call happening in your life, and I think it's about time it happens. Um, give yourself permission to dream big. Give yourself permission to believe in something that is bigger than you. Uh, I think that it's going to ground you. It's going to make you feel safe, and it's going to help you in your healing journey. With the moon in the reverse... Uh, you're letting go of fear concerning something. I don't know what it is. We'll clarify for sure. But you're getting clarity on something. You could be getting the truth about a situation from your childhood, a situation that you've been kept in the dark about. This is this is really intense. I feel like I feel overwhelmed by this energy. Queen of Wands and Nine of Cups working on your own magic, noticing all the signs. Uh, the Queen of Wands is, of course, the Witch of the Deck and Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. You've been manifesting something. Um, and yeah, you've been working hard. And yeah, it's like you know that you have to work hard to get things and to get to this dream life that you have. But I think that you're definitely noticing more and more that the universe is on your side, that you're actually a really lucky person. Uh, you could be surrounded by people who bring luck in your life also. There's a lot of awareness in the month of March. I think it's a really emotional time for you. Having some type of revelation, you know, uh, about your close friend, your chosen family, maybe your partner, realizing how lucky you are. And how everything in your life, all the little synchronicities kind of led you to where you are today. You're exactly where you should be. And again, you've been working really hard. The road to get to the Nine of Cups is not easy. And you've been pushing through fear and grief and loss. And making the best you can out of any difficult situation. But... What is your relationship with magic? What is your relationship with the divine and spirituality and the things you believe in? What is bigger than you? Anything you believe in, energy. Um, it doesn't have to be about religion. It's anything that makes you feel grounded, makes you feel like there is some type of mysterious thing guiding you towards this dream life of yours. Um, there's something really beautiful and magical surrounding you and I don't know what it is and I wish I knew. I wish I knew, but I'm not, uh, I'm not in your shoes, Virgo. There could be some, uh, a really specific event happening in March that kind of opens your eyes on the magic of something. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I think it's going to be a specific thing. It could be someone writing you a letter. It could be you uh, experiencing a really mysterious synchronicity. Uh, you're going to be scratching your head about this one. You're going to be like, okay, I'm trying to be rational. I'm trying to make sense out of it. But this is something you can't explain. Uh, this is not, this is not necessarily fun for a Virgo. You're always going to try to find the rational answers. Um, you know that you're a Virgo, like your brain is a sponge. You always want to learn. You want to know about humans and science and any subject is, um, you're always willing to have a conversation on any subject. You guys are so open-minded, and I think that that is your biggest quality. 
again, it's all connecting to that. Like if I'm so open minded and if I want to learn about everything and know as much as possible about humans and the world and everything, I have to also open up to the magic, you know, to my intuition. Um, the intuition is, you know, it, it's part of, it's part of life. It's, uh, I've been reading a lot about um, Einstein and what he uh, wrote about intuition. He used to talk a lot about intuition, saying that um, it's, you know, the most overlooked thing uh, that all humans experience. Like, it is a birthright. Intuition is something that we all have, but sometimes we just don't believe. We just don't um, want to dig into that part of ourselves. Um It's so cliche to talk about Einstein. My husband always uh, laughs at me <laughs> when I mention Einstein, but it's true. Everything he wrote about intuition is so interesting. And maybe that's something that you're opening to. And if it's coming out in your reading, Virgo, it's because there is a specific reason with the Ace of Cups. I don't know if it's someone that you care about that will help you open up to something You're unlocking something. Ten of Cups. You are choosing happiness and you are choosing to believe in something that is bigger than you. I don't know why it's coming up. It's so strong. I think it's the first time that a Virgo reading turns out to be this way. But notice the signs. Notice the signs. The repetitive number. Weird little things happening. Journal about it. Um... Tower in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. You are learning important lessons right now. Uh, and if, listen, we're going to start clarifying. I need to know more about uh, this specific thing. If you lost someone, a grandparent, a parent, a uh, sibling, I feel like I have to tell you that you could get some type of sign. And I have goosebumps saying that. Like, it's stronger than me, I have to tell you. I feel like someone that you truly care about could be your our guardian angel. Um, you're going to have a clear message in the month of March. And this could be life-changing for you. It could definitely help you grieve something, accept something. Yeah, see, the judgment card. There is something that will come your way. It's not something scary. It's not something that will traumatize you. It's something that will open your mind, your third eye, in a way that you never thought possible, Virgo. Um, and remember that you can listen to me right now and be like, what is she talking about? That girl's crazy. That's totally valid. Um, don't force this message on you if it's not comfortable. If you don't care about these types of things, you know. Um, it's not every reading that will resonate with you. And I just want you to respect your limits, of course. I'm not here to force my beliefs on you. I am just here to reflect on energy and tell you that there's something powerful within you. And I think that you could definitely change people's life with that. Um, it's something that you've been overlooking your whole life. And March is the month where you get a sign. Again, I think it could be from someone that passed away i'm hearing uh your grandmother but it can be something totally different temperance we have the angel here uh so this is my confirmation there is someone who passed away that was so so dear to your heart um they were gone too soon is what i'm hearing and i rarely get these types of message but when i do um They're coming out really, really, really strongly for me. There is someone who is guiding you, who is protecting you, and they want you to know that you're on the right track. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Uh, this is connecting to something that you haven't healed necessarily. Again, a loss that maybe happened when you were really young. Uh, someone that left too soon and you wish that you... Uh, had more time with them. Um, I'm really sorry for your loss. I'm getting emotional here because I, I don't know. I feel like I'm connecting with something that is just um, 
really powerful. It's kind of shocking for me, Virgo, to experience that in one of your readings. Um, this is the th type of thing I get in Pisces reading, Scorpio reading, uh, Taurus reading. First time for a Virgo. Um, be aware of the sign and don't let your ego get in the way. Listen to the quiet voice of the intuition. Um, and I think that if you are an artist, a musician, uh, anything that is about creativity, when you get in that, that headspace of, um, you know, if you're a musician, you understand that I'm a musician. So I know exactly like this moment where you get lost in your art, when you get lost into this kind of trance, um, if you're a writer and you get these moments of inspiration, uh, if you ever jammed with a band, you know, with your bandmates, the moment where everybody's in sync and you get lost into the music. Um, wow, I have goosebumps talking about that. It's just this, this moment for you is really important to connect with your intuition and your guides. So if you've been... Um, you know, not really feeling creative recently or not working on your craft and just focusing on your job and, you know, making money, I think that it's time that you give a little bit more time to the things that you're passionate about, like your hobbies, uh, these things you do that brings you into this headspace of not thinking about anything, being focused on creating this is where you will get the most sign. This is where your intuition is going to be like really powerful um, because the brain is really quiet when we get lost into this uh, trance of creation. Again, you might be like, that girl's crazy. It's totally fine, Virgo. Um, I know that the people who need this message will make the best out of it and... Uh, I know the Virgo I have on my channel. You guys are amazing. Six of Cups in the Lover's card. Um, every time you create something, every time you have a conversation, every time you uh, write a song, write a poem, sing, anything you do that comes out of you, it's sending good energy into the universe and it's coming back to you. This is 2-6. It's like good karma. You're actually healing something really, really um, deep, some a cut that was so deep. I don't know why it's happening in March. I don't know why it's happening now, but you're definitely um, on the other side of your healing journey. There's something that's changing in the energy and I, I can't put my finger on it. Um, you are you are letting the universe surprise you you are letting uh you are you want to be proven wrong is what i'm hearing i think that you need to see it to believe it and you're about to definitely see um something big again it's going to be a specific moment where you will be completely shocked and it will change your perspective on everything it's opening some type of door and i don't know why i feel like it will be impacting the rest of your life two of cups here we have the lovers the two of cups the six of cups your partner could definitely be someone who is highly intuitive um and i don't know why this is such an important moment in your life. But there is, we have 10 of wands, nine of swords here. Again, your dreams could really be important. Um, with the two of cups and the lovers card, there's just this powerful soulmate connection um, that is really taking a lot of space in your life. And I think that it's beautiful. It's definitely beautiful. Uh, with the Six of Cups, there's someone holding your hand through your healing process. There's someone holding your hand through every ups and downs. And I think that maybe you took that for granted for a while. There's, you know, there's nothing bad about that. I'm not um, pointing you out. I'm just saying you're going through a lot of realization. The moon in the reverse is like, okay, clarity. 
this person is so amazing and they're with me all the time and they, they support me and I'm so lucky. You are aware of the luck in your life. You are aware of the magic in your life and I don't know what's happening for you and I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Um, but get ready. You're going to be shocked. March is going to be a month that you'll remember forever. You will remember this particular thing happening and changing your perspective and your beliefs forever. Um, or making them stronger if you're already, uh, you know, highly spiritual, highly connected. Let's pick a clear message from the universe. What the hell is happening with Virgo in this magical reading? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this type of energy coming through for me. Yeah, we have the two of cups again. Who is that person that you share your life with? If it's not a soulmate, a partner, uh, it could be a best friend. It could be someone from your chosen family. But if you are in a relationship, I think that you probably found your forever person. And every day that goes by, you you see and realize how lucky you are. They're lucky to have you, but this person is definitely a blessing in your life. And we have the emperor and the six of swords in the reverse. You're coming back home to your true authentic self. Um, I think that there's a part of you that you've been pushing aside. I don't know. Maybe you felt like you had to be a certain way to Please your family, please society, make that money and, you know, always be on your grind. And uh, it feels like now you're coming back home to your true self. I'm, I'm going to be honest and I know it's going to sound really intense and it's not everybody who's going to be um, down to hear that. This is a rebirth that you're going through. Again, not something I would usually say in a Virgo reading. You are going through a rebirth, something really life changing. This is the Emperor Aries energy. Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. It's all about rebirth. And Aries season is the next season coming. It's uh, the start of the, um, the astrological year. So it feels like you're starting fresh. And again, I don't know what it is, but you're never going to feel as powerful as you're going to feel now uh you're taking your power back it feels like you're definitely following your heart on something and i don't know i feel like not only the energies are changing this is definitely the biggest shift in energy i've seen in a virgo reading in my whole career um but it feels like a new beginning just uh you rebuilding everything on strong foundation and i feel like again it all comes from a loss or a deep deep cut that wasn't healed properly um just because you're a human being and sometimes it's easier to just lock something inside and not look at it until it comes up um you've been brave you've been strong virgo and again get ready to be shocked Get ready to be shocked by this sign. And I hope that you find a way to reach out to me. If at the end of March, you are shocked by, you know, some type of sign from your guides, whatever it is, a way that you connect with your dreams, some type of premonition that you have, you're going to be totally aware of your power by the end of the month. And I hope you reach out. Sun, find balance and Lilith reclaim your power it's about to become really clear again how powerful you are and it's going to bring a lot of happiness in your life it's nice to believe in magic it's it's nice to um believe in something bigger and again i'm not talking about religion i'm never here to impose my beliefs on you i'm just really happy for you you're opening to fun you're opening to uh happiness just in in another way in a deeper way it's like you're you had the key this whole time and now you're unlocking some type of truth in your life this is the biggest shift in energy i've seen this year for anyone but for you in forever and i really hope you open your eyes vision get clear on what you want 
I hope you open your eyes to the beauty and to the magic that's surrounding you because you're incredibly lucky, Virgo. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for giving me a space to bring these messages. And again, it might not be your message. Don't get offended. You know, you guys can take it. You're a Virgo. So you'll see. Maybe this wasn't for you. But uh, again, make sure to reach out in any way to tell me what kind of sign you got and if it impacted your life because this is really clear to me. Okay, thank you, Virgo. Have a beautiful month. And of course, I'll bring you your bonus reading uh, in a week or so. Okay, bye-bye.